Now, my wood lathe. <laughs> There's a problem. I'll just show you the problem. I wasn't going to it today, but um, I've just possibly thought of a solution. You know, like a little while ago. And it's um, well, too late today, but anyway. It's not a real lathe, is it? But we might be able to do a bit of wood. I'll show you in a bit. So I've just this second thought about this. And I thought, well, we'll come out and just I'll show you what the problem is first. That will be quite a simple job to do, I think. Oh, let's see. Right. Can you see the problem? And the belt come off because I wasn't holding. But we've run it enough. Just as I say, a really short video today. So you can see what the problem is. Anyway, I've just thought of a solution, but we haven't got time to do it today. We can't anchor it down, but what have I got here? Look, piled to bricks. So all I have to do is in the base of that, if I get a some boards or something and pile that with bricks it should hold it steady because otherwise it, it was nearly unusable you know so I thought I'd just show you that but we've got it done and uh, I managed to um, weld that shaft on the end that we used before and also, I f uh, well, I need some hardwood. That was another delay. Well, I found a bit, but it's not enough for my belt sander. I'll go and show you. Oh, just while we're out here, I will show you. Look, I've got the uh, sundial done. See? I've cut that to size and that, and it looks all right. Now, I think you'll agree. It looks well cool, and everyone who's seen it here, my name is everyone, yeah, they all like it. So I thought as we're passing, I'll just show you this because we're not uh, got a very long video today, it'll be short. There you go. Well, like I said, I ain't got any hardwood, or I didn't think I had, and then. It just happened to get in the way, a bit of luck really. That's a little piece of it. And what that is, and by the way, I used my hand grinder with a metal cutting disc just to cut it up yesterday. And uh, what it is, it's to build's keel off wood enough, my old wooden boat. And I've even forgot I got it. And uh, it's mahogany, you see. And it's been coated and underwater for years and years and that, but it'll clean up. Anyway, me, I've run out of uh, belt, so I'm going to have to wait for that so I can sand that flat and glue it together. I did one side, but I was struggling, and it's it's not coarse enough. I don't know if the glue will penetrate. Now, we can try it and see. It doesn't matter, does it? But that's got to be, definitely be the biggest thing that I can put on, you know, like three bits of that I've got. So anyway, I've got that. So I'm just looking around for something to do. Now, the other problem is, of course, I haven't got it here, but I know where it is. Anyway, um, if you look back through me, oh, I know what to do. I, I said I would show you some of me wood turning on the other one. That did me good wood, didn't I? I'll put, I will remember and put a clip of that in. But I've only got these old chisels that I ground as scrapers, right? And we just managed. So I didn't know if they'd work or not. Tried it and they did work. So that's all I've got. These old three chisels that I ground up. But 
Um, I told me tractor, so it'll be oh three years or more ago now. Um, at Carrington, I was walking around with me boating mate Steve, that you've seen in the boating videos and that, and uh, I saw that. There's a fiver, and it's a proper spindle gouge, right? Well, it, I've sharpened it up, it's very sharp and that, but on this lathe I had no success whatsoever. It just grabbed and dug in and, and it wasn't me not using it properly, because what you have to do is put it on like a plane. And I put it there, like that, and you hold it, so that, let me get a bit of wood to show you. That bit will be smooth enough. What you have to do, you have to hold it like that, so, you know, it doesn't dig in. You like planing it. So you hold it on there, but this one, the second that I got the edge anywhere near, it dug in. So it's no good, you see. So, and last time I used these, I struggled. Anyway, um, again on me, I'll, I'll put a video up and, as I say, a bit of, bit of a clipping because this is short. That is the rest that I used on the one in here. But it's too tall to use again. So just quickly today, I have done something. It wants to be, the, the shaft height is three and a quarter inches above the, um, you know, above the worktop thing. So I've done that, you see, just to, as a rest, so you can, so you can rest you on there, because as I say, with scrapers, you do it straight, you see. So that, that'll work enough for what we're doing. That's all I'm saying. And I'm just going to hold this on with a clamp so I can put it where I want. And if it's slightly wrong, I'll move it, you know. Well, as I say, we're not wood turning, we're just playing, aren't we? Doing something. So I've done that today. Um, and also I look round and on my little face plate all I had here and that's softwood as well which I thought when I first did softwood I thought oh it would be better than hardwood but it didn't it, your tools blunt straight away you know they're bad to do so all I'm going to try and do is put that on and just turn that round right just chisel it round you could you know, just do it roughly and then just round that off like that. That's all I'm going to do just to see for, well, a bit of fun, isn't it? There you go. So, that's where we're at. <laughs> that's where we're at with the wood lathe. We'll, um, I may get a chance to show you it tomorrow or I may not because, like I said, I've got to, I've got to find something that fits in that bottom and then open the door and load a load of bricks in and so it depends if I've got enough energy or not, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. Right, see what happens, eh?